I don't know if you saw the toddler forced to wear the mask at daycare. I, yeah, I saw see everyone that? posting it, yeah. Yeah. That's a distraction, gang. That is, that's truly a distraction. They want us fighting over things like that. It is an awful thing. And yeah. I agree, it is child abuse. I really do. Um, what this government is doing. But the big things, the big things that are happening um, behind the scenes are uh, remarkable. Uh, you know, it's, it's funny because they were all up for the protests uh, this this uh, weekend. Can we get some uh, pictures of the protest, this big, big protest that <laughs> happened up in Washington, D.C.? You had like every, every journalist, the journalists were like 25 to 1, okay? <laughs> you have all these journalists around one person, all right? Um, and all of them were there. Is it, is it, is it possible that maybe, um, mm, I don't know, somebody should be at the border? Mm. It's an interesting idea. What if you took maybe half the journalists and moved them to the place where 15,000 people are sitting under a bridge? Well, let me give you some audio from the border. This is from the uh, uh, Rio Grande. As people are crossing now, cut four, please. As people are crossing the Rio Grande, look Incredible. at this. I've been to this bridge. You were at that oh, yeah. bridge, remember? I have not. In the middle even, of the night? Yeah. Uh, you were there? I was not, no. Look at this. They're building huts, like, yeah. I mean, just out of sticks that they can find. Cane, yeah. Uh, um, they, they're at the point now where they're, because it's so hot, it's 100 degrees, and of course it's Texas, uh, even in September when you hit those numbers, and they are now moving their encampments based on the shade. Yeah. They're moving them every few hours. Well, that's to why make they're sure. under the bridge. Right. Well, that's yeah. why they're under the bridge, but the bridge, yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. with the position of the sun, they have to keep moving where they're staying. It's crazy. Incredible. It's just crazy. Uh, there are about 15,000 uh, people, mainly from Haiti. Uh, cut four, please. Um, or, uh, sorry. Um, yeah, I already played that. Um, there are about 15,000 people that are now at the border. Um, they're coming across. Cut three. They're coming across the border. Uh, they're coming across the river. All right, guys, what you're I looking mean, at right look now at that. is that is the U.S. side of the Rio Grande. That is a mass of several hundred illegal immigrants who have just crossed the How Rio Grande. And look at this. Several hundred more streaming across as we speak. We're on a boat in the Rio Grande. This is the Mexican side of the river right now. You can see it's a never-ending stream. Hundreds of people crossing the Rio Grande basically every hour and they're heading over to the International Bridge, which you can see in the background. Look at that mass of people. Where is the press on this? This is why the situation under the bridge continues oh. to deteriorate. <laughs> okay, you this have Fox insane. News and that's it. The federal government has to wake up. Oh, you're right. That's uh, remarkable. I mean, uh, the, the, the reporter, one of the, I can't think of his name. He's the guy who's speaking on that uh, video who's been incredible getting all of yeah. this footage. I mean, it really is amazing how bad this is and seemingly they act as if it totally took them off guard that this was even occurring now Bull usually crap. when you invite people to the border and you say you should come because we're really going to make sure we take you in haiti's had such a tough situation they're going to come because you know america's pretty sweet we like it here but how did uh, this how did this many haitians move and move in the same place yeah the how did that happen obviously this was coordinated. obviously coordinated do you remember being mocked constantly for the idea of caravans remember how, uh -huh. how many how many fact checks came back mm -hmm. as pants on fire over mm -hmm. caravans and even all the, though we had the evidence the documents, and all the we, documents that showed the who organizers was on the yeah. ground saying the things yeah. we were saying we were just yeah. quoting them yeah. but yeah. still that was pants on fire that was racism that was xenophobia here it is here it is this is what they look like this is you can call it a caravan if you want, but it's the exact same thing. There's no way all these people. There's not like a you know a, a Haitian telepathy that I know of that they can all communicate with each other. Be like, let's go to the border now. Like there, these are organized efforts. They obviously are funded. You know how hard it is if you're a very incredibly poor Haitian person living on an island to get to uh, the Mexico the, again. M maybe. You'd be able to get to the Florida coast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To get to the Mexican border. You know how difficult that is? You know how long you'd have to save? If you're that poor, you can't. How they, long they you'd have to save to get to any country? They don't even have Central a America. functioning economy. You can't even save. You can't. It's impossible. And so these people are just all showing up there in a group of 15,000 at once. 
And it's completely ridiculous to act as if it's anything other than a coordinated effort by somebody. We don't have all the, the details of an investigation yet, but we'll get them. We'll know eventually who's responsible for this well, and how we it will, happened. and our audience will. Yes. The rest of the country won't. Will not. Um, and that is that is the biggest thing that um, we have to combat. Your friends and neighbors, if they are watching the mainstream media, they're not getting this. They're not seeing it. Even if you're watching Fox, you don't get everything. Uh, and it's, it's very difficult because I know you, and I know you don't want to be a part of some sort of conspiracy theory. And it is hard to tell the difference between the conspiracy theories and the conspiracy facts. And, you know, what Stu just said was a conspiracy theory. I think that this is coordinated. However, it's one based on some pretty sound uh, reasons it doesn't seem possible that they would all meet at the same bridge, at the same place, all of these people. Also, we have evidence that this is what the left has been doing in the past. But it's still a theory. Once we have the facts, then it becomes a fact. A fact. Once we know and we can show you or not show you, we could say, you know what? We went down that trail and we didn't find any evidence. We're still looking, but doesn't look like it at this point. Then that's a fact. But your friends may not even be exposed to the questions. They may get their news from places that will just give you the conspiracy theory, which may turn out to be wrong or right. You've got to look for the facts. And we will begin our investigation, I think we already have, into, gee, how did all of those Haitians get here? Because they are so out in the open now that I don't think they cover these tracks. They don't expect anyone to look for them, and they think they have discredited people like me and others in the media, in our own media, that uh, they think that we're just so useless that no one will listen to us. That's fine. Maybe no one will. But we will at least document it, and in my case, document and keep all of the documents for future generations and historians who want to know what really went on.